Department on Physical Education for promoting quality physical education prepared by XPE in 2010. Next one is international benchmarks for physical education for providing countries with self-education guideline indicators that could help to improve the practice of physical education and sport in the educational system, also prepared by XPE in 2012. Already mentioned a global report designed to move, prepared by Nike, XPE and ICMC in 2012 and focus on the need to increase level of physical activity among children and young people. Next very important docu document was uh, Berlin declaration from uh, meeting of Minister of Sport, MINEF 5, held in 2013 in Berlin in Germany. This document was focused on three priority. Access to sport as a fundamental right for all, Second, promoting investment in physical education and sport programs. And the last one, preserving of integrity of sport. Next, very important document uh, adopted by UNESCO was uh, revised uh, International Charter of Physical Education, Physical Activity and Sport. It was published in 2015. Quality physical, physical uh, education guidelines for policymakers has been, have been developed accordingly with the aims of supporting UNESCO member states in formulating and implementing inclusive quality physical education policy and programs. Guidelines were officially adopted by UNESCO in 2015. Next uh, outcome from a meeting of Minister of Sport, MINEPS 6, Kazan Action Plan. This is final declaration from MINEP 6, adopted in 2017 in uh, Kazan, in Russia, and focus on development and implementation of 17 UNESCO sustainable development goals to transform our world. And last, maybe last uh, one was uh, Global Action Plan on Physical Activity 2018-2030, prepared by World Health Organization. Uh, one of the last documents published in, uh, in Europe is a World Health Organization document, Adolescent Obesity and Related Behaviors, Trend in, and Inequalities in the World Health Organization European Region. This document is based on comparison of situation and selected parameters in 2002 and its changes today. I would like to present very shortly uh, some result of this European uh, study maybe more profoundly. Trend in obesity. Obesity prevalence vary across European countries and regions, but is in generally higher amongst boys, younger adolescents, and those with lower affluence. While levels of obesity have stabilized in some country and regional regions, prevalence has increased in over half of those involved in the survey since 2002. The most marked increase have been observed in East European countries where levels of obesity were relatively low in 2002. Next picture show trend in eating behaviors. Daily consumption of fruits and vegetables increased slightly between 2010 and 2017, but overall prevalence remains low. Daily consumption consumptions of sugar, soft drinks, and sweet decreased not noticeably between 2002 and 2017, but consumption remains high. Some positive overall trends in adolescent eating behaviors are evident, but the picture across Europe remains complex with wide variation in prevalence in differing trends across countries and regions. In the last uh, picture from this uh, document, uh, you can see trends in sedentary beha behaviors. TV viewing is decreasing across Europe. Computer use for gaming and not gaming purpose increased sharply between 2002 and 2017 and offset the TV viewing decrease. Boys report slightly more TV viewing and, and computer use, but increases in computer use are more market among girls. The current guideline of less than two hours per day 
of recreational screen time is met only by the minority of European adolescents. Second important document uh, published in Europe was a special Euro barometer 2018 focus on sport and physical activity of Europeans. Uh, main findings very shortly, nearly half of Europeans never exercise or play sport and the proportion has increased gradually in re recent years. In a given week when this study was made, more than half of Europeans do not do any vigorous physical activity and around half do not engage in moderate physical activity. 15% of Europeans do not walk for 10 minutes at a time at all in a weekly period, while 2% sit for more than 8.5 hours per day. Formal sports settings are less popular than informal settings such as parks or outdoors, the home or journey or the journey between home and work or school. The main motivation for participation in sport or physical activity are improved health and fitness. Lack of time is the principal barrier. Most European thinks that there are opportunities available locally to be physically active, but many do not think their local authority doesn't allow. 6% of respondents engage in voluntary works that support sport activity. Challenges and possibilities for future. A fundamental question is what should be done to secure a sustainable future for physical activity and uh, eating habits of children and youth, but also of school physical education and sport. One answer is to accept the situation for what is, and in the future suffer the consequences. The other is to confront the situation and address available options to help resolve some of the problem, not only in Europe, but also globally. For contribution, of one solution of the solution of the situation, I will try to present some general approaches. To achieve the goal of people to be more active due to the recommendation of World Health Organization uh, from 2018, will require joint action cross, across multiple sectors and stakeholders to implement a contribution of effective policy action organized around these four strategic areas. Creating an active society. This objective aims to create a society with positive attitude and value toward everyone being active according to ability and across the life course. Second is creating active environments. This objective aims to create an environment that promote and safeguard the right of people of all ages and abilities to have equitable access to safe places and spaces in their city, cities and communities to be physically active. Third one is creating uh, actively uh, life. This objective aims to increase provision and access to opportunities and programs that support people of all ages, abilities, and diverse in identities in multiple settings to be physically active in their community. And the last one is creating active systems. This objective aims to deliver the leaderships and system that provide the necessary governance, coordination, and joint action at the national and sub-national level. These four strategic uh, areas will influence creating of important subsystem, and this is active school. Maybe question is, what does it mean active school? Active school is given many opportunities for children and the youth to be physically active in school environment. Active school open opportunity to be active before school, during school day, and after school. Physical activity before school are supported by active school by supporting active transport of children and youth using say walking, bicycle and other kinds of physical activity and by organization of regular preschool physical activities. During school day, most important role play school subject physical education. In active school, it is completed by regular organized physical activity 
during the recess breaks and during teaching of uh, other school subjects in classrooms. Active school provides to children and youth many other school activities, a school sport club, sporting participation on community clubs and activities and active transport back from school to home. In this, I would like to show you a short video of active school from United States. This is about giving our kids the structure and support they need to thrive in every single aspect of their lives. It's about all of us coming together to once again make being active a way of life for our kids. And it's about showing our kids that being active is fun. The Let's Move Active Schools campaign and the First Lady issued a challenge. And we love a challenge here at DC Public Schools. As school and school district leaders, we're challenged with trying to implement a whole lot of things in a very short amount of time. And I think there have been lots of studies that shows that active kids are better performers. And so if at the bottom line for you it's just about academics, know that this physical work will drive you to that bottom line. It's good because you feel healthy. It just makes us more confident and more focused. Basically, I'm just having fun now. It must be a holistic approach. Before, during, and after. It needs to be sort of second nature that an active lifestyle with minimally 60 minutes of physical activity, which by the way, that's where we were genetically designed. We are designed to be active and hyperactive. We're supposed to run and play and exercise and, and climb trees. The research is compelling. So if it's there, why not bring it to our kids? We actually know that when kids are active, they are better learners academically, they concentrate better, their behavior improves, their attendance improves, and those are all of the things that work for our success. We've seen dramatic change, uh, primarily at the elementary schools. And I think that's what we're seeing in Miami. You're seeing the results because the culture has shifted. Children are just waiting for something great and good and big to happen in their lives. So when you go to them and you engage the, the traditional classroom teachers alongside coaches and physical education teachers and the cafeteria workers and say, listen, this is about our collective mission. Let's get moving. Let's engage. Let's be active. Let's have fun. Let's move. Yay! Then it becomes part of the culture. Like moving around is something that everybody needs to do. It just makes me out of breath and it makes me feel better. It feels, it, it feels good. We believe in this. This is the right decision. Let's do it. And as we do it, let's scale it up very quickly. Every school, every student, able, disabled, and opportunity for all. It's good because you feel healthy and because feeling healthy is actually pretty good. And it's fun. Most important role or insistence of physical activity in active school remain to physical education as a school subject. To be more effective and attractive for children, physical education should relate it to these most important characteristics. Compulsory physical education. Physical education must be and remain a compulsory part of all educational system from preschool education through primary and secondary to university education value physical education. Physical education has to be focused not only to motor development, but also to development of all children personality, including development of social, emotional, intellectual, moral values, and creation of positive attitude of lifelong physical activity. Quality physical education. Adequate quality of physical education is an important issue and it is of interest of to children, parents, teachers, and all wider community. Curriculum time allocation is an important issue in the provision of quality physical education. 
For example, in the European Parliament's resolution already from 2007 is the call of member states to make physical education compulsory in primary and secondary school with a guaranteed principle of at least three physical education lessons per week, inclusive physical education. Physical education must be offered also to children and youth with special need in school and outside of schools. Physical education must be offered in the same quality to girls and to boys. Healthy physical education. In the light of available uh, scientific evidence, individual needs and social, social trends, inactivity levels and sedentary lifestyles, patterns and increasing level of obesity, health problem of children and youth, linking of physical education with health is today needed more than in the past. Multicultural physical education. Construction of physical education curriculums have to be open the doors not only for traditional physical and sport activity, this is very important, but also for new modern activity, including physical activity and sport, typical from different cultural and uh, social backgrounds in which nowadays children and youths present interest. Safety physical education. Question of safety physical education in schools and safety participation on physical and sport activity outside of schools is very important, not for only for children, but also for parents and teachers. Safe environment, same facility and equipment, safe teaching process are important component of educational uh, system in physical education. And last one, ecological physical education. Physical education uh, process has to be organized and realized with acceptation of ecological rules of society. Construction and reconstruction of sport facilities, sport equipment have to be built in base of ecological approaches to environments. Physical education and physical activities in active school needs to have a different kinds of support, especially social support, scientific and international. Social and political support is represented by positive attitude of society and it's representative to physical activities and sport. Scientific support is represented by accepting and using results of scientific research in this area. And international support is represented by influence of international organization on development of physical education, physical activity and sport in different countries. Important is also linking physical education with traditional and not traditional physical activities and sports. I would like to show you one small example, one video of the best practice from these areas. First one is video showing maybe an example of political support, active participation of the wife of past uh, U.S. President Michelle Obama, Obama in war against the obesity of children and youth in U.S. and uh, for promoting active lifestyle, including regular using of physical activity. This is one short video where Michelle Obama explained his basic idea of his uh, active. Before coming to the White House, the president and I lived lives like most families two working parents. I was busy trying to maintain uh, some balance, picking kids up from school, trying to get things done at work. Just too busy, not enough time. And what I found myself doing was probably making up for it and being unable to cook a good meal for my kids. Going to fast food a little more than I'd like, uh, ordering pizza. And I started to see the effects on my family, particularly my kids. It got to the point where our pediatrician basically said, you may want to make some changes. So started making those changes, short, easy changes, but they led to some really good results. So I wanted to bring the lessons that I learned to the White House. This led to our new initiative, Let's Move. Let's Move is a nationwide initiative that basically focuses on four key components. First, we want to improve the information and the tools that parents need to make the changes that are desired in their families. 
The second is that we have to improve the quality of food in our schools. That's where kids are eating many of their meals, and we have to do a better job of making sure that that food is quality. Third, we need to improve access and affordability of healthy foods. We have to eliminate food deserts in this country, and we need to do it now. And finally, we have to increase physical education for our kids. We need to get them moving. And we're going to be relying a lot on uh, major sports organizations to help us achieve that goal. And we're very excited about that. Let's Move is going to take families out of their isolation and give them the nationwide support that they need in a whole range of industries to get their kids on track to live uh, healthier lives, to eat right, to get more exercise, and to be ready to face the challenges of, of the future. Michelle Obama was a big promoter of physical activity of children and youth, especially by creating this uh, and developing this her project, Let's Move. But when I was listening, your minister, honorary minister of youth and affairs of sport, Mr. Shri Kinen Rijiu, uh, I am sure that uh, physical education, physical activity and sport also in your country have big political and support and uh, I, I was very positively I was very positively influenced by the speech of uh, honorary minister of youth affairs and sport. Uh, second example um, uh, of best practice from international support for physical education and physical activity is uh, example of one uh, international body, International Committee of Sport Pedagogy. Uh, pedagogy. ICSP was uh, the working group of ICSPE. It brings uh, together representative of six world important organizations from the field of physical education and sport education, FIEP, IFAPA, IAPSGV, ICSPES, ICEP and ICC, and the role of this uh, committee was to meet, discuss, and make decisions about pedagogical matters. And uh, one important activity of this committee was participation on creation and diffusion of already mentioned different international documents. Next video showing one example how not traditional game in rugby in Madagascar can touch and can be played not only by boys but also uh, by girls and can be something like a way of social integration in uh, by using physical activity and sport. Je m'appelle Arcelia, du village d'Ontsepoka. J'ai 16 ans, j'ai un fils de 3 ans, il s'appelle Cristiano. Je suis une vaiso, j'aime la mer. Mais surtout, j'aime jouer au rugby. Pourquoi vous les filles vous pratiquez le rugby C'est un sport violent avec des gestes de brut. On sait qu'on sera jugé, c'est sûr. Nous, les filles qui jouons au rugby, on subit beaucoup de critiques de la part des hommes. Ce que le rugby m'a apporté, c'est que j'ai beaucoup plus de force. Tout mon corps s'est endurci, sans aucune faiblesse. C'est pour ça aussi que j'adore le rugby. Je risquerai le tout pour le tout, parce que j'adore le rugby. Bon. 
mamá nativa, le da una cosa de matar a mucha gente a ti. Si matar a ti, me voy a hacer Maar tu me plais dans ce sport. Et chacun sait que je marche, me donne la force d'exister. Physical education and physical activities in an active school needs to be linked also and influenced by physical education, teacher education and its quality with lifelong education of PE teachers and another specialist in area and have to be linked with community and family life. I would like to show you one example of uh, how, very nice video, how important is family support for involvement of children in sport and physical activity. <laughs> Education and physical activities in active school needs to be also linked with physical activity and sport in school out of PE classes and needs to be linked with new technologies. Monitoring of the development of physical education across the world is also an imperative. I would like to show you maybe short video from uh, Singapore. <laughs> In a second video, I would like to use uh, show you one brain break activity, short uh, physical activity during uh, teaching of uh, another subject in primary school in Croatia. Yeah. Uh, uh, next.
next example, example of best practice uh, is focus on necessity of permanent evaluation of situation in physical education. UNESCO, in cooperation with FIEB, realized from 2017 four physical education worldwide survey. As a part of this survey, six books are planned to be published. Four were already published, focused on physical education and primary school in 2017, in secondary school next year, early childhood education and care in the universities in 2020. Next one is in preparation. It will be focused in physical education and sport of children and youth with special needs. In this, my last uh, video, I would like to show you one best practice focused on linking physical education with new technology. This is video from Singapore. <laughs> Lessons at North Vista Primary involve motion tracking games and simulations. And once a week, students put on devices that can measure their heart rates and activity levels. will be monitoring the student's heart rate and activity through this iPad. Now the intensity of the activities is color-coded so the teacher knows immediately whether his students are working too hard or not enough. And the individual data is also sent to the student's individual accounts. We wanted a platform whereby the pupils are able to monitor their own health. At the same time, this is also a very good platform for the teachers themselves to also monitor the, the health of the pupils. Especially so if um, we do have pupils who might have some special um, or medical health reasons, right? Um, this information will be very useful for us so that we can manage their safety, especially during physical activity. I think I've improved a lot as when I first started it, I was at very light which means the lowest rank but now I have exceeded the moderate which means I have reached the target high rate zone so I think that this helped me improve in my PE lessons It is a good platform to use technology for PE lessons now because um, when the students are in school or rather like for example Anna if she's in school and she's doing her PE lessons uh, I'm not here to see it using the heart rate monitor and tracking the data 
that is accessible anywhere through the web. Uh, it brings her lessons back home where I can see, I can view and can monitor her progress also. Uh, and I think it's a good thing because not many um, people or maybe schools really emphasize on um, using technology where PE lessons are concerned. Okay, in conclusion, all these ideas and the best practices were presented with the aim to improve higher quality of physical education, physical activity and sport activities as a part of daily habits of people and contribute to higher quality of their life, but not only children and youth, but as well as adults, elderly persons and all families. And this is one of the most important goal of our activity that people feel healthy, happy and enjoy their life. In the end, I have to say maybe that um, implementation of ideas of active school in practice is today influenced and partly limited by COVID pandemic, but I, I am hoping that this uh, situation will change soon and we will live normal life very soon. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now I request Dr. Syam Sundar Rat to present her, his concluding remarks. Yes. <clears throat> And <clears throat> Professor Dr. Branslev Antala and all our distinguished guests, participants, and students. It is my pleasure to conclude um, the uh, paper. Sir nicely presented his paper and started with this global uh, problem and the sedentary lifestyle and people have stopped to move and how the sedentary lifestyles affects our health and uh, uh, global action plan of physical activities and uh, which is highly required. And uh, Sir also presented uh, adolescent obesity in global wise, it is already been improved, increases and uh, <clears throat> sedentary uh, behavior also, and uh, the new challenges and perspectives. Uh, Sar has also uh, shown four or five videos, which was very interesting. Uh, that is uh, active society and environment, active life and active systems, and how the active school physical education prog programs helps to, to develop physical fitness and health wellness of our children in school. And uh, uh, physical education is a, an important uh, school subject and that will definitely enhance the community club and uh, community activities also. And uh, quality physical education uh, program should be involved with safety precaution and multicultural uh, program should be involved. And he has also given emphasis on traditional and non-traditional physical activities and sports with one video also. And another one video, uh, President, our Honorable President Obama, how they give uh, active lifestyle in, for school children and uh, let's move a program. And uh, also he has uh, mentioned international committee of uh, various committee of sports and pedagogy and uh, a lifelong education for physical education teacher. He has uh, mentioned that physical education uh, teachers must be involved uh, in lifelong education activities. And lastly, how this uh, physical education programs is linking with new technology so that a physical education teacher can monitor this both intensity and volume of the activities. And uh, ultimately the quality of life is highly important for all the school children so that they will learn various physical activities and they will uh, accept it. They will follow any of the activities through their life. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 
Could I, yes, could I, I, I want to do. Dr. Burrell, I just would like to thank uh, Professor Branislav. Would you permit me that, please? I will. Okay. Okay, I wanted to add that um, uh, my presentation uh, was uh, maybe a combination of uh, research uh, results and uh, some video clips because uh, maybe sometimes it's better to sh show by video some idea as uh, explain. And uh, um, uh, I choose uh, video clips to make to, for you some overview of different best practices from around the world. Maybe it can be inspirative also for you in, in India and uh, maybe many of the, these things you do already. And, and it was my, my idea for in this, my presentation. Uh, you show sir? Surgery. Uh, Dr. Branslev, I'd like to, uh, on behalf of the National Sports University and um, uh, SAI LNCP, a big thank you. Hats off to you. It was indeed a great session. And thank you so much for being with us for the inaugural session, as well as for taking up this session in a very short notice. Thank you so yes. much, uh, Branslev. Looking forward to cooperation from you and looking forward for your presence in our future sessions too. Thank you yes, so thank much. I Thank know. you very much. One more time for giving me opportunity to be present. I have to leave uh, for two, three hours because I have obligation in my teaching university. And uh, after uh, I will uh, go back to your seminar. Thank you very much. One Thank more time. Thank you and namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Branson. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh, Kuldeep, for the next yes, session, please. Yes, uh, I thank uh, the chairperson, Dr. Burel, and uh, co chairperson, Dr. Shyam Sundar Rath, for their valuable contribution in the session. Thank you so much, sir. So, the uh, next session, uh, uh, I'll start with introducing the guest, uh, sp uh, the speaker, uh, Dr. G. Uh, Kishore, uh, who is a principal and regional director of Sports Authority of India, uh, LNCP Trivendra. Uh, he joined Sports Authority of India in 1986. He has served uh, in go uh, Government of Kerala as additional direct director and directorate, director of sports, youth affairs, and secretary Kerala Sports Council in different tenures on deputation from SAI. He has also served as the director personnel SAI head office, Calcutta, Bangalore, Dr. G. Kishore resumed the charge of uh, Principal SAI LNCP in uh, 2011. Uh, Dr. G. Kishore is a recipient of quite a few rec recognition and awards. He has traveled many countries in the world on international assignments. He holds a number of important academic positions in the University of Kerala. He is a member of Syndicate and Senate. In addition to that, he is a member of many standing committees of the University of Kerala. He has been nominated to various important committees by the Government of India and Government of Kerala. Uh, he is a member of Selection Committee for Dhyan Chan Award, a uh, very prestigious award. And he is the chair, uh, chairman uh, on the committee to review the guidelines uh, for selection criteria for SAI schemes. And he is the convener of the technical committee and member of executive board for, for the 35th national, uh, national Games. He is also member uh, of the committee constituted for implementation creation of Delhi Sports University. He is a member of the committee constituted by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India for formulation of vision document for the next 15 years seven-year strategic plan and three-year action document up to uh, 2030 in respect of Department of Sports. Um, he is also uh, he was also the member uh, of Indian delegation to observe the Rio Olympics from 4th to 14th August 2016. Uh, Dr. Kishore has organized many uh, sports related workshop at international and national level and he has also attended and presented paper uh, in many uh, sports related seminar in country and abroad uh, thank you so much sir for uh, giving us your valuable time i welcome you uh, in the session
uh so uh, please sir uh, you can uh, the dice is yours thank you very much dr sundeep for your kind words and introduction my dear colleagues uh, and lists uh, dr shah dr jsp dr sham sundar and all the, my dear participants very thank you so the, today our theme which uh, we are uh, deliberating is about physical education and sports the power to unite communities and uh, i am touching upon the, the the same topic about the role of physical education and sports in building communities it is uniting is the theme building is what i am presenting no building you can unite it is only while you build communities you can unite them. without communities being into existent uniting it may not be possible so how how you can unite how you can do building communities that's what we are through physical education so uh, i would like to have a brief background brief uh, about before i go into the topic because first of all we should know what is the meaning of community community is the condition of sharing or having it is the condition of sharing or having attitudes and interests in common if you have attitudes in common similar type of attitude sporting attitude is an attitude it is an universal attitude and interest what is your interest what what all areas your interest lies that is something you you unite people where you build through which you build community so what is the if you take what exactly is the meaning of community it is that it is a condition where you share or or have attitudes and interests together so that is the way in which various communities are formed the sporting community is a community which is universal in nature which is being built through physical education and sport so how do you build it what is the role which physical education is playing to build that universal community we call in indian philosophy vasudeva kudumbaga the globe as a village it is what far in our ancient mythology indian tradition and mythology this vasudeva kudumbaga is there our honorable minister during his inaugural address has emphasized the the role especially he has quoted many examples how do you build a world as a village it is only sports can do that only physical education and sports can do that that is what i would like to present in my uh, in my in my today's uh, uh, presentation and i would like to uh, because this is something which is not normally highlighted though we all know all physical educationists know the role of uh, the community uh, element in the uh, it but it is not being highlighted or uh, taken uh, with lot of significance uh, of of them because Uh, now you know uh, we normally focus into the various other edges various other uh, aspects maybe the pedagogy or maybe the excellence part of it so why is that the community building becomes important now because it is it is a, it is at present of at most significance because of the factor that uh, it is being undermined not even the due so if you see uh, more focus going uh, and into other areas and i think that is one of the reasons but we should reemphasize on exactly how we can build communities and what is the role of physical education and uh, you know we we'll go into that and before that i would like to uh, go live in though because it's all aware to all physical education but i would like to throw some light go into retrospection about uh, the physical education being a being uh, a part of the education now it's already Uh, uh, the honorable minister has mentioned that new education policy of india makes physical education and sports a part of the education curriculum it has got merged into the curriculum but why i said that it has become and it has become a part of the curriculum it is not something new but it is if you if you if you go back if you trace the history ever since the education has been into existence from those time onwards physical education and sports had always been a part of the education but we have we have you know somehow during the in between we have uh, some uh, you know in in uh, uh, separated it and we have 
given it, brought it into two segments. That education is, a, is something which is into academic focus, into theoretical studies, classroom studies, and physical education is something extracurricular or co-curricular. But it was not. Ever since the education uh, uh, has come into existence in the world, ever since the past, education's definition itself will show it, will prove it that it was a part of the curriculum. I would just like to provide links about the definition given by on education by our, uh, you know, uh, by all the great visionaries and uh, saints ever since uh, it has come in. Because, you know, in India, in the ancient uh, Indian civilization, education was something inextricably interlinked with our culture. It was there from the Google system. Let us see how education was defined. So this is how if you go through these definitions by Rigveda, education is something which makes a man self-reliant and selfless. So a man who wants to be self-reliant has to be, and selfless is the process where you cannot undermine or ignore the physical part. And you can should say that education is that whose end product is salvation. And Sri Sankarajaji has told that education is the realization of self. And Kaudalya has said that education means training for the country and loving for the nation. See, all these definitions carry about how actually the education aims. And the element of uh, the, the part of physical education is hidden or involved, or it, it is uh, a part of it. Plato has said very uh, categorically that education is the capacity to feel pleasure and pain at the right moment. And Aristotle, has said that education is the creation of a sound mind in a sound world. So all these definitions carry equal weightage and it, it proves and shows that from the time immemorial, uh, education and physical education was interconnected and it was a part of it. Next. And you, now you see how is physical education defined. So the physical education is defined by uh, by October. It shows that Physical education is a sum of experiences which comes to individuals through movements. So it is movement education. It comes through movements. And the movement is from womb to top. The education starts from the womb and it transcends till the, uh, till the town. At each stage of growth, there is, there is something education, there is an education involved. So it is from womb to top. And this process of moment education is some of those experiences. It comes through moments. And also by William and Jordan, physical education is some of man's physical activities selected as the kind and conducted as well. And these are all known to everyone, but I am just uh, mentioning it to make you once again to realize that uh, how it is written, how these uh, definitions will undermine its importance as ingredient of a uh, part of education and uh, it, it has it has been ever since the time immemorial. And also it, by J.B. Nash, physical education is the face of the whole field of education that deals with rhythmic activity. So these education definitions of edu physical education and education, if you uh, just correlate, you can see that these had been these are interrelated and this has been always a part of it. Now you see how Mahatma Gandhi, one of the our father of nation who was formed a, who was uh, a pivotal role that played in uh, uh, bringing independence to our country. What is his uh, Gandhian thoughts and vision uh, on physical education and folks is not often being highlighted. But if you go through the his life history, we can come to know that he had always been very much interested in physical activity. It is said that during the younger days onwards, he used to walk around 18,000 to 25,000. He used to be was very fond of walking. Eight to ten kilometers of walking he used to do every day. And he was very fond of physical activity. And that resulted in having developing a personality and character in him, which, which helped him in the freedom movement, which has helped him uh, uh, to play a formidable role in the freedom movement through non-violence. And you could see that one of the ways he could reach is that he has touched out the entire Indian community. 
he played a formidable role in building the indian community cutting across all differences he has walked the length and breadth of the country it is his walking it is his movement which is from the one end to the other of the country and that you if you see his walking style you can realize that how fast he walks his long walks and marches are well known dandi march and other marches where he walked with a few people barefoot or maybe with a chapel and he has walked an entire stretch of the country length and breadth he started the walk with 10 people and ended with thousands and thousands of people so it was a trolley movement of the freedom movement where he was building an indian community his walk his movements the physical activity has played a dominant role in 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 uh, developing the indian community and the freedom movement he could play a very very crucial role by through his physical activity or through his exercises or this through his physical uh, background which has helped in uh, formulate in uh, strategically moving against the mighty colonial rule through non violence and uh, get the liberate the country to freedom and he could also build the, the indian community to a greater extent through his long walks where he could uh, reach out to the each and nook and corner of the country also the same if you the high, the one of the greatest saints saints of india swami vivekananda has also said that you will be nearer to heaven through football than through study of gita so this is though it is seems a very simple uh, sentence but it carries a lot of meaning it shows how much sports can help a person to be a role model to have all qualities of an ideal citizen to to uh, to get all the benefits of uh, uh, of uh, reading gita or uh, the religious context so that you will get all good things in life you can develop good vision good thought good moral do everything and that through which you will become contribute to the community you will become resourceful and you will be asked you know you can you will be nearer to heaven uh, that is by participating in sports or physical activity you can reach so these visionary saints and uh, the great uh, the uh, legends has always advocated directly or indirectly they have always preached the role they have always highlighted the role of physical education and sports in building communities and that's how they have been so close to this and their words are the testimony to this fact so it's a education through physical activity for development of personality of the child to its fullness and perfection in body and mind and spirit so this definition if you analyze this definition that the which is uh, given in the later times by central agus we born on physical education of the field with the vision and thought of this uh, great persons you can always realize that they had they had carried this vision in their thoughts and that is how they have always given due recognition due regards to the physical activity and physical education so this uh, aim of physical education you see that these are the we are now about the objectives overall development of the personality when you want to develop the overall development in personality you want to give enough equal importance to all these segments maybe it organic neuromuscular social emotional or recreational in each role has to be unit due to and you see the social development factor too so we are more though you know uh, you can become more social only when you are uh, you are your neuromuscular system you are emotionally stable and uh, you get more social so it is all interrelated and social development forms an important part of objective of uh, physical education i would also like to talk here uh, about the uh, how nelson mandela one of the greatest revolutionists who has uh, played a key role in south africa uh, against the apartheid and he was a great revolutionary and he was the president of south africa from 94 to 99 if you if you trace the how much of importance he has given to sports to build the the great nation there was even a movie where nelson known as uh, uh, Invict Invictus where the entire thing is being so the, the thing he has done is that he has to do through his revolutionary movement he picked up the game of rugby which was said to be uh, a game by the whites only for the whites and he started playing it and it, he started making everyone to play together they, without any differences and in the year 1995 rugby world cup was hosted under his leadership 
and this has made a symbolic this has made remarkable contribution in building the african community in 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 uh, taking out the the evil of apartheid and making the country liberate the country and also making the country uh, strong and the rugby has played an important and nelson mandela has said it, that you know south springbok jersey and the use the uh, symbolic power of sports to unite black and white south africans sports has the power to change the world mandela said in a speech 5 years after the, that match it has been the power to inspire it has the power to unite people in a way that little else does it speaks to the youth in a language they understand sports can create hope where once there was only this only this but this he has written Nel, uh, nelson mandela the great uh, revolutionist has written with his own experience that the power to unite people in a way that little does and it speaks to the youth in a language they understand and sports can create hope where once there was despair there was when there is despair through sports through participating in sports through participating in physical activity you can create hope and that is what being proved by nelson mandela and uh, that is proved by him uh, while and he has always been highlighting it and it has been uh, accepted by all and that is why how the great even the greatest uh, uh, you know sort of uh, melodies which has crept into the world into the uh, the, the population the world population could be to a significant extent erased through sports it could be cleansed through sport and that build up the community the african the community not only the african but also the entire world in uh, in taking out the evil of a party so uh, that is why the sport development and peace has got a lot of relevance through sports is a event to offer capacity to reach vast numbers of people and can be effective pl platform for the public education and social mobilization so you will be able to do public education without any you know without any formal uh, uh, classrooms and the events itself the sports events itself becomes the, the 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 platform and you can mobilize the public to education and social mobilization you can connect for people it's a global process that brings together players teams coaches volunteers and spectators so it, it is it is a play where everyone get together it's a social process itself the process of participating in sports it is through which everyone get together the ability to connect the cross cutting the nature sport can be used to address a, a broad range of social and economic challenge you see invest in sports you can get rid of uh, uh, you know uh, unnecessary investment in uh, hospitals or health sector it is something preventive you can prevent from gender discrimination various other uh, social evils it so it is cross cutting the nature it is the ability to empower motivate and inspire you have got through sports you can got the natural ability to draw on, to draw on develop and showcase individual strengths and abilities you can show the individual strength you can showcase your individual ability you can you, you can make the world to realize what you are so it is it, it is something where you empower people you motivate people irrespective of any discrimination irrespective of any prejudice and that is what physical education and sport can and universal popularity the sports popularity transcends national cultural socio economic and political boundaries you you can see that there is no no discrimination if, if somebody uh, some so i don't in the world maybe honorable minister was talking about pele how pele pele despite he has grown from brazil to the world as a world icon he was called, the honorable minister talked about jesse owens so likewise maradona anyone who is universally popular in sports his popularity transcends national cultural socio economic and political boundaries so the world is united that is virtually and community wide the world get united so that is what sport the physical education and sport builds community so the, we have the great slogan in uh, physical education sharira madhyam kalidharma padana written by mahata vikaldas and kumar sambhav uh the board that means that the human body is the first part or instrument in treading the path of dharma righteousness so if the citizen if you want to tread if you want to proceed 
if you want to in, in righteousness through dharma the path of dharma the human body is the instrument unless your human body is sound unless your human body is sound you can't spread the path of dharma you will you, you you will not be impaired and the long walks of mahatma gandhi had gained strength from this log and the sharira madhyam and dharma sadhana where he walked the length and breadth of the country and it is it is the dharma which he has attained was through the sharir the which he had through which the strength which he derived through physical activities and movement so these are some of the uh, benefits which we are aware of a person can uh, sports can uh, give it to a, a person who plays sports on a regular basis a tuned body with muscles formed the healthy and bones so physically uh, you feel staying active physically with better reflexes reducing levels of stress and anxiety adding to mental toughness mental uh, health being disciplined developing value system sense of friendliness feeling togetherness developing team sports mutual cooperation developing leadership qualities achieving better output in every situation so all these are the benefits let us see that these benefits how interalia makes you a better citizen next please so the physical activity and sport are crucial in community building those all these benefits which i have underlined before it will help the population health promotion and preventing disease remain important global policy goals so you are pop the population because we are the last, uh, second largest population in the world the honorable minister has mentioned that if the indian population is healthy and fit that means the world population is fit that means the population health promotion and we the world as the you know the population the even if you remain active if you play some game if you participate in physical education programs so you will it is something which will help the policy goals of the population and increasingly community level approaches have been based upon theoretical concepts and community capacity so that is based on the community level approaches we need to have various approaches and it should be that with the community it should not in, it should be based on the capacity of the community level of the community and it should be progressive and through the sport development model there is evidence of sport being important practice of community development so wherever you can see that whichever community sports is more prevalent and active and that there is always an evidence of uh, uh, development and these are interrelated developmental model to sports so i have always mentioned that you know what is why is that always we look into sports with a competitive edge of physical activity we look how we can how how uh, we can achieve excellence of course excellence have its definite role we are not undermining excellence is there but if you to see look upon any uh, mega sports event starting from the olympics how do you or maybe the uh, how you see that the the continents are united the world the various continents the five continents are being united together there is a global village the olympic village or maybe if it is an asian games the asian games village the continental village or the global village where every one every athlete the official who comes for the games they are made to stay in the same village so it's vasudeva kudumbakam world as a village where is prevalent in an olympic games and also if it is an asian games the asian village means the continental village the every country in the continent there is no difference they all come together uh, sit together eat together uh, they have uh, various recreation recreational activities together they together must come a bondage comes that is why the five elements of uh, the five continents unite so it is the it is the uh, uh, the the atma vasudeva kudumbakam the globe of the village which is in indian mythology which is being materialized through this uh, practice of olympic games and so apart from and also they want to see the olympic games the march past every country is marched together they receive they take salute they give salute they take the pledge olympic pledge and whenever there is any country uh, the the whomsoever country wins the gold their national flag is host, hosted above all national flag everyone gets up for the national anthem of that nation so that that sort of bondage no way no other field no other area can offer so that element always have to be highlighted at the, at a stay, at a time when there are lot of differences there are different uh, uh, you know uh, unhealthy trends there are divisive forces when they are acting to divide the world divide the countries divide within the nation 
So the factor which can unite, bond together and build a community with the essence of sportsmanship is uh, through physical activity, physical education and sports. So that is what the underlying factor which needs to be highlighted, which needs to be always given its due. Definitely excellence has a role, but at the same time, we should also make that everyone to realize that sports should become a passion. Sports should become a way of life for everyone because some or the other way everyone get involved. Maybe as a spectator, maybe as a, a, a participant, you are coming and sitting in a uh, in an Olympic uh, when a, a competition is going on, you become a part of it. You are becoming a, a sports person. So that is what we we need to highlight that everyone, each and every citizen, each and every person in the world in the country. Need to take on sports as a way. So it is a, because of this factor that community training activities are organized much in Sports Authority of India. We have various initiatives and programs uh, uh, which have been initiated under the dynamic leadership of our honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and our honorable Sports Minister Sri Kiran Rijiji, as he has mentioned. Also in the address that we have the Halo India program, the Fit India Abhyan. Such part of the Abhyan to keep the country clean and the freedom run, the Fit India Freedom Run, which we had recently. We had the online training program for physical education teachers and conduct community courses, which we did during this pandemic, where we have got an overwhelming response of more than 35,000 to 40,000 teachers participated. We had the flogging run to clean the surroundings, to run as well as clean the surroundings and awareness, various awareness rallies and events. So we had a series of uh, training activities, physical activities, physical education activities have been taken up uh, to build the community and to take on the various uh, slogans, various uh, which are very, very, very relevant in the current context to make everyone healthy and fit, especially at this point of time when we are facing the pandemic. So it is said the community building in sports. And recreation is not about winning. It is about helping and build stronger, healthier, and healthier and safer communities. And communities that participate in sports and recreation develop strong social bonds. And the people who live in them are generally healthier and happier than the places where physically physical activity is not a priority. So all these games, if you see the games wherever it is held, those those, those maybe it Rio, Sydney, Beijing, London. Uh, Barcelona or anywhere, those cities have become global cities. Uh, it, apart from the differences, everyone acknowledges this. So it is, it is, it is a place where everyone gets together. So it has, it has got a community building process which is involved from the Olympic movement onwards. So ever since, from the top to bottom, where maybe it is Olympic Games, maybe it is continental Asian Games, or maybe it's uh, South Asian Games, uh, as far as India is concerned, Commonwealth Games or uh, maybe the national games. Even for national games, we have uh, the, every state coming together. They also do the same thing, the national games. All the states come, march together, stay together in the national games village. So the, the, the uh, unity in diversity, the states all get together, come to know each other. So that community building process, that needs to be given its view and need to be highlighted and also uh, is something where each and every participant needs to be made aware of. So it is, you know, how does the child get to know about it? So if you, the active kids learn better, and research proves that your kids physically active, they do better in school also. So when you make your child to perform physical activity, that you are sure that this cognitive function improves, that your memory, your behavior, your concentration, your academic achievement, etc., improves. So otherwise, inactivity is negatively impacts. So it is necessary that you make each and every child to have a broad vision, to develop his mindset, to enhance its cognitive function, make them to participate in physical activity and physical education programs. So these are some of the things which are known to everyone that you know that uh, exercise is something increases the level of exercise. So it can increase the levels of brain uh, uh, as a growth factor, it builds more neuron, and so your brain, your product very fast and efficient neuromuscular system. You, you are a very active by brain. You can stimulate the nerve growth. Regular physical activity reduce plasma and adrenaline and because it is something which uh, will, uh, uh, you know, dilate your blood vessels. 
and will have more blood to flow and uh, it will help for better thinking. Increase the blood flow in the cortex and the brain. It improves the children's concentration, attention and reasoning ability and also improve the cognitive control. So if you exercise, your brain is quicker and works better. It's practically simple. So in a, if you exercise your brain, it's quicker and works better and it's, that is what we would like to say. Once your brain is stable, you are emotionally stable. You are intellectually balanced. You know how to think. You know interpret what is good, what is bad. So your brain becomes more active. And once you can discriminate between bad and good, that leads to uh, ideal citizenship and good politics. So that is not how uh, citizenship policies can be made through PE and sports. How can you build more citizens, ideal citizens, contributing citizens, healthy citizens, positive citizens? So this can be made through physical education and sports that kids who participate learn better and more likely to enjoy the school. He will enjoy the school. He creates, it creates employment opportunities. It creates improved mental health. Nowadays, if those can say that those uh, children, most of the time, they don't, they have emotional imbalance. Many of the time, they don't uh, know how to accept defeats, how to accept failures. So, you know, the mental health gets affected. There are many signs of this. So, it, it improves the mental health. It eases the pressure on health system. Once you exercise, it will help them to contribute towards social capital, the camaraderie comes, the social, uh, the sense of belonging comes. And life skills and leadership abilities get more. And active lifestyle comes and creates more, ultimately into more employment opportunity and you can, uh, the, the quality of your life improves. And healthy workers, after you get into a job, you become more productive. You become a healthy worker and productive worker. And your uh, creative, positive alternatives and antisocial behavior and try and get diminished. Your thinking becomes positive. You reduce the pollution. If you do take, you know, uh, promote physical activity like you do more walking, you will, uh, you, you will desist from path to path, try lifestyle. You will go into a more uh, uh, a, a, a lifestyle which is active. Hypokinetic lifestyle get reduces. And you will provide it, uh, you know, it's a vehicle for inclusion of drawing people from different races, religions, and cultures. You get together. And it gets fosters the community pride and bonds and strengthens the body. Galvanizes the communities in times of need. Whenever there is a crisis, sports will add something which will bring them together and which will draw them together. They will, they, they will be the oneness, the togetherness will come. Economic growth through business and investment, employment. You see that all the major private sectors uh, all promote sports. Why? All the various private companies, public sector companies, they are about sporting divisions because they know that they are that will make their uh, employees more productive, they will be more uh, social, they will be more uh, contributing, and that's all. The economic growth and business investment, employment and major uh, all get positive. So it creates opportunities for and promote volunteering. You see that more people volunteers in sports. You can see in any Olympic or any mega sport, volunteering as nowadays a big uh, movement. People, more and more people volunteer into, into sporting activities. It creates opportunities and it contributes to higher levels of self-esteem and self-worth. The person who participates, he develops that self-esteem and self-worth, that mental quality gets sustained and help help the help to sustain the environment through protecting open space and natural areas. Sports is something which always uh, promotes the nat uh, natural environment, green environment. So it, pro it promotes uh, protecting open space. We have a lot of play fields. If you see all the various sports centers, training centers, we can see that a lot of greenery, a lot of natural uh, resources there. So it helps to sports and recreation clubs and recreation clubs and the hub of community life, especially in the region. You can see that a lot of community activity flourishes in those places. Contributes to lifelong learning. It, it is something which contributes, go, goes through a home to home learning process and great opportunities of networking. Through sports, you get, uh, you know, networking with various people and reduces obesity. You will get more healthy and fit. The, the, the present uh, WHO warning of uh, hypokinetic lifestyle, uh, making India more prone to lifestyle diseases, 
that can be a considerable of, uh, we can get rid of it, can help to prevent cardiovascular disease and this uh, diabetes and some forms of cancers. So, you know, that is what the, we can make, build uh, the country, uh, build the community healthy, quick and strong. Yes. And bring people together, providing opportunities of social interaction. Any tournament, any world international tournament, you can see the dog and the entire people getting together. They interact with each other. Empowers, inspires, and motivate individuals. You can see that how much of inspiration, how much of motivation, a, a person who gets win some laurels, he gets acknowledged. He, he will get a lot of laurels. He got, gets a lot of uh, name and fame for him and his country. That provides works and life balance. Binds families and communities through shared experiences. So get, that is all done through, and that all contributes towards community building and citizenship policies uh, amongst the population. So that how do you conclude? That you know, the conclusion is that the idea of sports of the mechanism to promote social capital has been present ever since the Olympic movement. So it is a social capital. It is a mechanism to promote social capital. It is something which you can build a, 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 a world community. We can make the world into a shape into a form of a village. And that is possible. That is one of the social capital that is present ever since the Olympic movement that has been always a motto, along with winning medals, along with uh, achieving excellence. In addition to developing individual sports and physical activity can help build stronger communities by bringing the world together. I already explained. And sports is widely seen as a way for people of different backgrounds to interact and integrate by take part volunteering and spectating. The people with different back, even the people, even the with the, uh, the you know, utmost hardcore differences. Sports integrates them, they bring them together and they have dialogue. There, there has been, uh, you know, sharing, communication happens and that way the differences dissolves and bondage comes. It can help to provide opportunities to bridge divides between communities and can become leveler between divergent communities and serves as a social equalizer. So it, the, it becomes a social, play field is the best social equalizer. It takes away all the discrimination. It takes away all the differences. It takes away all the prejudice and it provides, it cut across all differences and bondage, strong bondage uh, comes between all and, and it, it flourishes and the sports and allows the nations the chance to unite behind their national teams and share a common hope and dream regardless of background and thus contribute towards national building process. So whenever our country participates in a, in a, in a tournament, the entire nation is united. The entire nation as a whole stands behind. It's more evident in the World Cup tournament. Maybe it's cricket or maybe it's hockey or anywhere. It unites the, the entire, entire uh, nation despite all differences. And they have only shared a common hope and dream. And regardless of background and contributes towards national building, the, the citizenship quality, the comradery, the self-respect, everything developed and it results after all in nation building process and makes make the country uh, fit and strong, healthy and strong. So let us dream and uh, open India, which is healthy and fit. And we can dream when we can we can build, make sports a part of life, way of life, and we can think of a, a, a time when each and every Indian, each and every Indian citizen, take on sports as a way of life, and he become uh, a part of it. We can definitely think that in India, uh, we will be healthy and fit. Uh, maybe the time within a very, as rightly pointed out by our honorable minister, we are all poised to become a, a sporting giant, the top four sporting country in the in a very short time. And with all these innovative programs, with all innovative schemes and programs designed by the by the Sports Authority of India, Ministry of Sports, and also various state governments and other bodies, we can definitely dream that in the very recent future, our country also will be a sporting giant in the top of the world. Not only a sporting giant, we will also be a country uh, which will outsmart each and other, and uh, will be at the at the root at the top of the world in every aspect. Jai Hind. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, 
there is one question from a participant sir if you can answer uh, one sim uh, short in uh, like short duration uh, will be i will just show you a video after that we'll go for this thing i sure, just sure, show you a video where uh, we are enjoying physical activity so a little bit of uh, music and dance also that how the community we are i'm just showing a branga dance which we had at our place during this uh, <laughs> glimpses of uh, the fit india program where in our campus where our faculty enjoying the bhangra and also likewise you have different uh, physical activity at different parts in manipur in kerala we have martial arts qualified so this all type of physical activity is not physical activity is will something which promotes to the community building where you feel the bond and we feel together Ir irrespective of the place which you are from. here you know uh, in kerala we were enjoying uh, bhangra from punjab So yes. this is how you unite the country. You can have. Thank you so much. Thank you for the. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. There is there is one question if you can answer for like it's a short question, sir. Uh, the question by Ashok Nayak that why physical education is not not considered as a compulsory subject like mathematics, science, and education, sir. Uh, I think uh, the honourable minister has already answered that question. He told that uh, they are the new education policy. There is a lot of uh, changes which are going to happen in uh, certain uh, CBSC and uh, certain other boards which are already initiated. So you can see that something is on that uh, he has mentioned about a central board on uh, physical education and sports being established. We can definitely uh, in the near future see that uh, this becomes a part of uh, curriculum like maths or uh, chemistry or physics. Uh, it has got a lot of ingredients of uh, literature and research in it. It will become a part of uh, the main uh, stream education and uh, subjects in the new mm, thank the you new sir. education policy has already underlined yes sir uh, thank you sir uh, now i request dr sham sundar to uh, present his concluding remarks professor <coughs> professor dr g kishore principal lnip Trivandrum and Dr. Usai Snayer, Organizing Secretary Professor Jayasri Acharya, Dr. Kuldeep, Dr. Lamlun Guril, and all the participants, students, guests. It is my again proud and privilege to summarize to conclude this uh, topic, which Sir has presented the role of physical education and sports in building communities. Sir has rightly started. <coughs> 
uh, the all our ancient thoughts of our leaders uh, uh, the upanishad adi guru shankaracharya and how plato and aristotle the great political philosophers they have given a lot of emphasis on physical education and sports and our modern definition of physical education given by jv nas jv williams mahatma gandhi vivekananda every things sir has nicely narrated then aims and objectives of physical education also in this uh, condition particular in this situation how this uh, aims and objectives will be helped then nelson mandela rightly quotes sports has the power to change the world uh, he has also explained it and uh, how sports develops peace in communities with five sub topics he has uh, nicely presented that is communication platform ability to connect cross cutting nature universal popularity ability to empower and uh, motivate then shariram adhyam khalu dharma sadhanam that first we should give priority to our health our priority to our body then automatically then the person then the students they will develop socially physically emotionally and he or she will be a balanced human being person then benefits of sports uh, participation and sports and physical activities how it is crucial for community building and uh, sports promotion pro sports promotes vasudev and kutubankam nicely uh, narrated and uh, <clears throat> how sports authority of india organize this community training activities uh, properly like fit india and khelo india avian freedom run online uh, online activities various activities teaching learning activities then community building through sports and recreation uh, nicely present, uh, narrated and how uh, active kid learn better in school education only activities this how research has already been proved it and uh, quality citizenship how physical education and sports develops quality citizenship and uh, very nicely he explained with suitable examples and video also uh, one video also she presented that means we must give that uh, traditional activities our culture and tradition we must give emphasis as also professor dr brensel antala also told about this culture and tradition so and lastly sir told let us dream india which is healthy and fit so thank you sir thank you very much for your nice presentation i hope all the participants enjoy this topic thank you sir Thank, uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Kishore, sir. Thank you, Rat, sir. Uh, I think, ma'am, actually there are few questions, but uh, we have uh, we don't have time now. So uh, the next session will start at five, right? Uh, I think, ma'am. Uh, Sir, if you can send those questions in the chat box, we can reply to them. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay. It's in the chat box, sir. Yes. So uh, thank you, Kishore. Sir. Indeed, it was a wonderful session, and a person who actually uh, preaches what he practices. That's the best part. Thank you, sir. And uh, for the information, thank you very much. And uh, for the information of the participants, please start logging in by at least four forty-five because five o'clock sharp we start with the session. And uh, uh, Dr. Kuldeep, is there anything else which you could uh, mention? Because so the participants know what time they need to get in. At yes. least fifteen minutes before the session starts, please to join for the session. We have um, a Rosa uh, Yamiko from Venezuela who will be taking the session at five five p.m. in the in the evening. Yes, ma'am. So please, uh, all the participants are requested to log in fifteen minutes before the program starts at five, and um, you will be provided a link to fill the attendance also in between the session. So uh, please log in fifteen minutes uh, before the session starts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And Thank another, you. please do only registered candidates will be getting certificate. So please do register yes. in the link given by uh, a link has been provided. Please do register for the information of all the participants. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Shams uh, Shamsundar sir. Thank you, so thank much. you, madam. Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kuldeep, Dr. Jayashree. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Dr. Burul, thank you.